Okay, so today is a really exciting day. We've just taken delivery, our first delivery from the malt miller for the setup of our brewery. So I'm just gonna walk into Brewery HQ. So here we are, walking into Brewery HQ. There's our head brewer, Simon. <laughs> All of the boxes ready to be unboxed. Fresh delivery from the malt miller. So uh, we've got our delivery here for our first brewery, all come from the malt miller on time and we're just unpacking it and uh, seeing what we've got. So here we are. Box number one. Okay. So in here, we've got all kinds of goodies. Portable refractometer. Um, Squirty bottles. Important for cleaning, obviously. Important for cleaning. High performance cleaner, which goes in the squirty bottle. Um, we've got some airlocks for fermentation. Taps to get the beer out. Um, what have we got here? Overflow filter for part of the grain father. Stop the stops the malt going down the filter tube. A box with stuff in, I'm not too sure what they do. Uh, Chemsan, uh, self-foaming sanitizer. What can we do with some of that? Oh, and How important is sanitizer in the process of beer making? It's, it's extremely important that uh, you keep everything as clean as possible. Um, a steery paddle. Right, so that's the kind of bits and bulbs box that we've got. Um, oh, including a regulator for a gas bottle. And what is that for? Is that for the actual brewery system or is that? That's for dispensing the gas um, into the cakes that we've got. Right. Right. That's box one. Box number two. Just some bucket buckets to keep um, malt in um, and ingredients. Go up there. Number three. Looks like fermentation. So great, so Simon, that's the uh, the fermenter where I guess the action happens. And one of the great things about the malt miller, of course, is that if you ask them and you specify it at the checkout, um, they will actually pre-cut the holes for the hole at the bottom there, which is obviously for dispensing uh, the resulting brew. And then obviously the hole at the top, which is for the airlocks that uh, Simon showed you uh, earlier. So again, another great service from the malt miller is they'll do that for free as long as you specify it at the uh, at the checkout. Spot on. Eventually, that will go in the fridge, which will be a temperature controlled unit with an ink bird um, and a small uh, green, uh, greenhouse heater. So once all that's in there, that will keep it at the right temperature for fermentation. Uh, pipes. Ooh, we got the good stuff. Crisp amber malt. Beautiful. Crisp Maris Otter. These are the fermentables. Thomas Fawcett Crystal Malt. So that sounds nice. Oh, um, we've got crisp chocolate malt. Target hops pellets, and we've got first gold hops pellets as well. So those are our ingredients. Hop spider, 
which is a, it's like a sieve that you put inside the grain folder um, to stop hops jamming up the, um, the exit hole. We can use our shelf, look. Yay. Little mini kegs. How cute. Um, what's in there? Five litres. Five litre kegs, which will be pressurised um, with the gas. And then we can take these away. Um, and they'll keep fresh for a very long time. So, all good stuff. And we've got three of those. Right. Oh, the sparge water heater. Okay, so we've got the, the sparge heater, or sparge water heater, um, which you which is all part of the, the grandfather kit from the malt miller. Um, and basically it keeps the water at the right temperature for sparging your brew. Um, it's got a gauge on here so you can see how much water you put in because uh, you have to sparge with a certain amount of water um, so say for example you sparge with 10 litres of water and it's got way where you need to fill it up with so that's good and then the big daddy right so this is the grain father which is the 30 litre capacity, um, which is enough for, for us to be starting with. Very nicely packed. Lid. With hole in. Instructions there. Okay, so we've got parts for the grain farmer. Uh, oh, that's the sieve that you put on the top to stop um, the mash coming through um, and blocking it all up, I think. And then in there. That's the control unit, control box. And inside here we've got the, the cooling system. Um, and then, oh, and get out. Father, all in one brewing system. So that's the kit, pretty much. Um, a few jugs and things to pull the water out with, but apart from that, that's that's it. There we are. So that's it. That's all we've got from the Malt Miller. Uh, we're really excited about setting up our little microbrewery. And uh, so the rest of the day we'll spend setting up and uh, we'll get back to you. Perfect. Okay, bye bye. Let's, um, let's just do that fermenter again. We've got, where was it?
So that's it, we're all set up. Everything's arrived in perfect condition from the malt miller. Really excited about getting stuck into our first brew. Um, we'll obviously let you know how it goes and uh, yeah, look forward to producing some fine ales.